Hello everybody, my name is Sir Raphael and I will be teaching you environmental studies for class 2. Now everybody take out your Wonder World environmental studies textbooks and turn with me to lesson number 10. Time on page 55. Alright, so today we will be learning about time. Do you know what time is? Do you know what, what is the time right now? Do you, do you know how to read a clock? Yes, do you know how to tell time? Yes, time is very important for all of us to organize our lives, right? We need to tell the time in order to know when to get up or when to eat uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, when to go to school or uh, when to do many other different things, right? So time is very important and it is very important to know how to tell time. So today... We will be learning about time. <clears throat> so, let us uh, turn to page uh, 55 and let, let's look at the, the uh, above questions, right? At what time of the day do you go to school? When do you have your lunch? When do you go to the park to play? When do you go to bed? Right? These are all different questions and uh, we... Um, <clears throat> We do all of these different things at different times, right? So, let us read. The position of the sun in the sky tells us what time of the day it is. In the morning, the sun rises in the east, right? Where does the sun rise from? The east, right? As the sun rises high in the sky, it is midday or noon. Right? When is it noon? When the sun rises high in the sky. When the sun moves towards the west, it is afternoon. Right? And then we come back from school in the afternoon. The sun sets in the west in the evening. We go out to play in the park. We also do our homework. Now, let us look at all, all of these different times, morning, noon, afternoon, and evening, right? Where does the sun rise from? The east. And where does it set? The west. Always remember that, right? The sun rises from the east and sets in the west and the evening, right? And then we have night. We know it is night when we see the moon and the stars in the sky. The sun is no longer visible and it becomes dark all around. It is time to go to bed. Right? So we, have, we learn about morning, noon, afternoon, evening and night. Right? Now, <clears throat> what time of the day is it midnight? Do you know, have you heard of the word midnight? What time of day is it in midnight? Right? Now, we will learn about telling the time. Now, have you ever seen a clock, right? The round thing, uh, we normally hang on the walls or you might see on watches. Have you ever seen mummy's or daddy's watch, watch right? Uh, so, it is round. It is usually round. Sometimes it's square also. And then it has three hands, right? It has three hands. It has the hour hand. It has the minute hand. And it has the second hand. Now, let us read. Telling the time. We express time in hours, minutes and seconds. We use clocks and watches to tell the time. The face of a clock has three hands and there are also 12 numbers from 1 to 12 on a clock. A day has 24 hours. The small hand tells us what hour of the day it is. The big hand shows us the minutes. The long and thin hand shows us the seconds. As time goes by, the hands on the clock move from one number to another number. As there are 24 hours in a day, the small hand goes around the clock two times in one day. There are 60 minutes in each hour and 60 seconds in each minute. We write AM for the time from midnight to noon 
and PM for the time between noon to midnight. Have you ever seen AM or PM next to time? Uh, maybe on your computer or maybe on smartphones? Yes. AM is from midnight to noon and PM is from noon to midnight. Yes, that is very important. Please learn that. We may be getting up at 6 a.m. and getting ready for school. We may be doing our homework at 6 p.m., right? So depending on the time of the day, the a.m. will switch to p.m. and p.m. to a.m. the next day, right? So what have we learned from here? The small hand on the clock tells us the hour. The big hand tells us the minutes. And then this long thin hand tells us the seconds, right? And then there are 12 numbers from 1 to 12. And then it will change from AM to PM depending upon the time of day, right? Now, <clears throat> let us move on. Fill in the blanks below to show how you spend your time during the day. I eat my breakfast at, what time do you eat your breakfast? I have my lunch at, what time do you have your lunch? I go out to play at, what time do you go out to play? And I go to bed at, what time do you go to bed at? Right, so fill in the blanks there. Also for homework. And then what is your favorite time of the day? Right, Week, month and year. We also tell time in <clears throat> weeks, months and years. Right, so seven days make one week. Every day of the week has a name. Do you know the names of the uh, Do you know the names of the days of the week? Right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right, that is the final day of the week, and then the week starts again from Monday. Right, so seven days make one week. Now thirty days make one month. Right. So one week is seven days, 30 days makes one month, right? Some months may have 31 days as well, right? So a month uh, like say January, January has 31 days and February, how many, how many days does February have? Do you know? Yes, ask, ask mommy and daddy. Sometimes it's 28 days and sometimes it has 29 days, right? February is a very special month and we will learn about February later. When all 12 months have passed, <clears throat> oh sorry, um, yeah, so 30 days make one month. Some months may have 31 days and there are 12 months in one year, right? How many months in one year? 12. Do you know the uh, names of the months? Right, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. What month is it right now? Do you know? So there are 12 months in one year. So <clears throat> let us uh, try to recap. There are seven days in one week, and there are 30 or 31 days in one month, and then we have 12 months in one year. Do you know how many days are there in one year? Yes, it's about 365 days or 366 days depending upon the year, right? So that's a little uh, extra uh, general knowledge for you. So when all 12 months have passed, a year has gone by. A year has 365 days. A year from now, we will be one year older. So 24 hours make a day. Seven days make a week. 30 or 31 days make a month and 12 months make a year. Yes, that is how time passes. Now, we will be learning about the calendar. Do you know what a calendar is? Have you ever seen a calendar? Do you have a calendar in your house? Yes, somewhere posted on the uh, wall or somewhere on the table. Yes. So, <clears throat> uh, are, uh, what are calendars used for? So let us read. A calendar shows us every month of the year. It shows every day of each month too. Calendars help us remember holidays and other important dates. 
we use a calendar to find out how much time has gone by right so calendars are used to find out how much uh, how much time has gone by and to help remember holidays and other important dates like say birthdays right so <clears throat> what have we learned in this lesson number 1 the position of the sun in the sky tells us about the time of day the second the sun rises in the morning is above our head at noon moves towards the west in the afternoon and sets in the west in the evening right we can see the moon and the stars in the sky at night for we can tell time using clocks and watches five there are 20 there are 12 hours in a day <clears throat> so uh, each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 60 seconds right actually there are 24 hours in a day but uh, 12 hours in a clock right and then goes am and pm do you remember am and pm yes am is from 12 at midnight to 12 in the after, uh, 12 at noon and then pm is 12 12 to, uh, noon to 12 in the midnight right and there are 7 days in one week there are 12 months in one year and a calendar shows us the months of the year and also uh, the days of each month right so now for homework i would like you to do yeah i would like you to answer the uh, fill in the blanks on uh, page 55 and then uh, 57 also uh, how you spend your time during the day 55 57 as well as the exercises a b and c on page 59 right so thank you for joining me for this lesson my name is sir file and i will see you next time goodbye